as a child. You know, um, I grew up with my my uh, uncle who was uh, who was in the building industry, and also my father. Well, my whole family was. So I basically started in the building industry. When um, when I became a teenager, I knew I wanted to get into some sort of in a building in, in, and cabinet making is something that I chose. So uh, the time came, I, uh, I uh, got into an apprenticeship and in those days it was a bit hard to get apprenticeship because in the 70s they, uh, there was a little bit of a, a recession. So it was hard to put anybody on. So I found it hard to actually get into a position that I wanted to. The way I did that is I offered, to, I offered my, myself free of charge to, to learn and get into the, into the field. So. My father took, knew some people uh, in, the, in the industry and he took me along there and, and uh, I went there and offered my services and, and, and then uh, not long after I received my apprenticeship uh, they saw the potential in me and, um, and that, that, there goes history. It was not long after I started my apprenticeship that I knew I was going to start my own company. So I already had things in place and, and uh, was thinking about that, um, what I wanted to achieve. I, I had dreams and goals of, of eventually what I wanted to become. Um, so uh, I, I set forward doing that. Um, when I completed my, my apprenticeship after about two or three years, I started putting things in place, which, which would be factory location, business name, equipment, uh, and so forth. Being in business for 30 years is, is a big achievement and it's taken a lot of hard work to get there. Um, so Al has sort of prided himself on giving excellent customer service and that's shown by us winning the Australian Achiever Award for customer service. Um, so each client that comes into the showroom or we speak to on the phone, you know, we, we try to give them the service that, that they expect and then when they uh, decide to go ahead and have a kitchen or bathroom or any cabinets made, we try and give them um, unique service and um, the materials and everything we use are high quality materials and I think that all sort of sticks in people's mind. Yes, yeah, 2006 I think we mm. did the kitchen and um, it stood up to very well, uh, hasn't it? Yes, it has. And the drawers, we haven't had any issue with drawers. Um, Al's made us some fairly big drawers for pots and um, he was also good because our island bench, as you can see, has um, some cupboards at the front with the dishwasher and because it's quite a big bench, he made cupboards at each end to fit the space uh, as well as a cut in for a, a seat or something if people wanted it, but utilised every bit of space for, for additional cupboards, which I seem to need. <laughs> so we've sort of got a lot of people coming back again for repeat business. So, he, you know, we've had clients that we've done jobs for 20 years ago and um, they've maybe sold that house and bought another house and want to renovate um, their new one. So, um, I think it is a great achievement and, and it's, um, yeah, I think it's something to be celebrated. Well, we built the house which was a Victorian style, so we pretty much knew what sort of style we wanted. So we just needed to find someone who would make it and make it with good craftsmanship. And so we opted to go with Alvaro and the team. And as you can see, it's lasted for nearly 15 years and it's been lasted extremely well and we look after it and we love it. The most rewarding part of the job would be uh, at the end of the job. Generally I, I see the clients in the factory and um, do the last little bit of them, select their handles, that sort of stuff. And if they walk away from, from me happy and ready for their installation, that's the most rewarding part. Occasionally you get the odd hug in the, in the factory and that's, uh, that's, that's definitely the most rewarding part of the job here. Oh well, Al, Al came in and he worked basically with Glennis to um, to work on the design element. He'd come up with some ideas and then we'd have a meeting and we'd change and correct and I think we've stretched breakwater a couple of times and they're... Um... I've taken something into these folders and I have a whole lot of pictures and through the library I have bits like this and bits like that and drawings that I've made and I'd say, yeah, 
can you give us something like that? And so our would, you know, we, we get to the build to the point where where our could actually have walls to to measure from, and he'd come in and he'd, he'd do the initial measure and the design, and we'd get back that, and we'd but eventually ground that would be a part of the process, and then before construction, Dean would come in and he'd measure it again just to make sure that before you know measure twice, cut once, and um, and then it'll all be perfect. The journey with um, with Breakwater, we've been able to. Um, extend them and us in what we've got, what we've wanted and, um, uh, and nothing we've thrown at them has really phased them. I think the, the library threw them a bit, particularly the latter, yes. as to how he was going to, how he was going to resolve that particular issue. We've had to do more research and um, to do the ladder, to make us a ladder, so yeah, we've thrown something at them and they've been able to come up with an answer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you can really sort of throw anything at, at Al and Nick and, um, and they'll come up with a solution that's been the best part. Congratulations, you look way too young to have been in business for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> Al, it's a pleasure to work with, mate. The whole gang are in your, the best kitchen ever. Thank you very much, and yeah, you're a professional, mate. If we ever need something else done, we'll be on the phone. Oh, bathrooms are next. Yeah. <laughs> so to, to Al and Maria from, from Glenis and Mike, we wish you all the best for your 30th birthday. What a great achievement. Hip, hip. Great achievement. Hooray! Yes. I'd just like to congratulate Alvaro on 30 years in the business and wishing you every success for the future. Well, I think we, we both wish Al and Maria a, a, a very happy anniversary. It's amazing to have been working together for 30 years and building kitchens for people in and around Geelong. Um, I think you should both be congratulated. Mm. You don't do anything for 30 years unless you've got it going right. I'd like to thank everybody for supporting us over the last 30 years. I'd like to thank our fantastic staff, the suppliers and all our uh, past and present clients because without everybody we wouldn't be able to achieve um, this milestone of 30 years in business.